Okay, here we go. We are doing another pizza review. As you see on the back of the board, I'll get into this first. I know we want to go over and see how good the pizza is or not. There's a whole bunch of new news with these pizza reviews, but let's get into the pizza first. We are going to be reviewing uh, one bite. Everyone knows the rules. Five cheese stone baked pizza. I'll get it again. I'll get into the backstory about why we chose this pizza. You see on the back, this thing says about the name change. We'll talk about that, but I know what you want to know. You want to know whether this pizza is worthy of Brandon Ducal Tree Lamar in the basement of Wilbur, New Jersey, the eight pack of Roy Rogers fried chicken while watching 1984 Dune. Can this pizza take the place of Roy Rogers fried chicken and give Shank that same divine moment of, remember, there's only three things in this world I love, dogs, food, and movies. So if the food is right, awesome. So again, this is Dave Portnoy's uh, five cheese, uh, bar stool pizza, one bite, whatever you want to call it. Everyone knows the rules with me. There are no rules. I eat as much of this as I need to to give you the accurate, unbought, unpaid for, unbowed to corporate sponsorship nonsense that's out there. So let's see how this comes out. As always, I have my trusty cup of dyed orange, sun-kissed dyed orange soda. That is definitely worthy of you know, Brandon Duke and Tree Lamar in the basement of Woman's New Jersey for a ride of fried chicken. The problem was, back then, I was probably only like 15 years old, so I didn't have to drink diet soda. Now I have no more metabolism, I gotta drink diet soda. So, just thought I'd throw that in there. Let's eat the pizza. I will say this. I'm not going to have a Michael Douglas falling down moment here. I'm talking about this before. Remember he was in the hamburger place in the movie, and there's this beautiful hamburger up on the wall, and then he pulls it out of the packaging, and it's all crushed and disgusting. Like pretty much everything I've ever gotten from McDonald's or Burger King or any fast food place. I give the defenses. If you look at the, the pizza on the front of this package, the way it comes out, even in my crappy oven, isn't that far away. If you look at some of the other reviews of this pizza, you see here's the, the back side of it. It's got a nice little browning to it, so it's not all, all doughy and gross like that Domino's pizza in 1993. This actually kind of looks like the pizza that's on the box. So in defense of this, that, that's, that's pretty good. So, I mean, look, we're not eating the box, so I was just putting that as an anecdote. Let's try another bite before I, I render judgment. Okay. I'll finish this later. It's, it's worth finishing, but. Uh, this. Let me prop the computer up so I can give you the accurate. Again, here it is. This is the pizza right here. A little crunch. It gets better as you eat it, but as you can see, I'm eating this on my Avery and Jordan Fagan uh, blue plastic plate. They ate off this when they were like six and nine years old. I'm eating off it as a 46-year-old, so yeah, it figures, right? That's what you get when you use other people's stuff. Um... Would I ever buy this pizza again? No. I would never buy this pizza again. Even though it costs like seven bucks at Walmart. Walmart's right down the street from my house. This pizza's not horrible. You see some of these people reviewing, and I think they just hate 
they hate the guy, Dave Portnoy. They have to because this pizza is not horrible. But it's also not good. And uh, maybe some people had some kind of weird hero worship thing going on where they expected more out of his pizza. I'll, and again, I'll put some of his links on here so people get an idea of, of who he is. Remember, first off, the even reason why we used to call this section, this segment, Sloppy Seconds, is because of Dave Portnoy, the guy who literally has made pizza reviews. You see all these idiots on here nowadays and they're doing pizza reviews. They never give credit. It's all gimmick infringement. They never give credit to the guy who started this. And that's actually the guy. I don't know if this is his company. He originated this or he started this, whatever it is. But his name's Dave Portnoy. And he's associated with this organization called Barstool Sports. I'm really not so much into the history of all of it. But he started doing all these pizza reviews. He started he sort of really, I mean, to say, give this guy's credit. He's made millions of dollars, not for any one given person, but millions of dollars for really good local pizzerias who deserve the credit but never get the notoriety because they simply don't have the marketing power. During the pandemic, he single-handedly raised tens of millions of dollars for, for money to keep small businesses intact because apparently they weren't connected enough with the government to get any of the billions the government was giving out. So this is – I don't know why the reviews of this pizza are so – so extreme because it, having eaten it, it is definitely not an extreme reaction of having this. I neither hated it nor do I love it. It's actually just not that great, but it's not that bad. But let's go over this real quick because the pizza you already know. No, this pizza is not worthy of Brendan Duke of Tree Lamar in the basement of Woodbridge, New Jersey, the eight pack of fried chicken from Roy Rogers, watching 1984 Dune, which puts Shank about as close to God as he's ever going to get. Because we know Shank is all about dogs, movies, and food. So that's my judging criteria. Portnoy, the guy who started all this, the reason why we named it Sloppy Seconds, he does a scale of 1 to 10. We know we're 0 to 10. Everyone knows how bad I am at math, or at least I know how bad I am at math. So I came up with this criteria to judge it. So, by the way, we're doing a name change. The reason why is people were trying to share these reviews with their friends, and or they were trying to look me up under Sloppy Seconds. And let's just say when they Googled Sloppy Seconds, it wasn't done in the carefree, ha-ha way that I was trying to do it, which was, here I was taking this guy's idea and trying to make it my own. Big Portnoy, by the way. They found some other more, shall we say, choice stuff. Some things that were a little shocking to Graham Graham. So we have to change the name. From now on, it's no longer Sloppy Seconds. From now on, it's just going to be Personal Trainer to Pizza, Pizza Review. The new name I have now is Push Ups and Pizza. I'm going to change that one day when I start branching out into make fried chicken sandwiches, whatever else I wind up doing. But we have had a name change for some very, very good, valid reasons. This wasn't market research. This was basically people saying, Shank, I sent your video to my aunt. She found porn. Like, that's just not going to work if we're trying to spread out this... Wait, that wasn't a good use of the word. We're trying to share... That's bad. Trying to share these pizza reviews. I don't want people having to go on to, to sex sites. So, number one, we have a name change. Again, we already talked about reading the one bite, five cheese, pizza. We already talked about it doesn't fit the criteria. Look, it, it's not horrible. I, I, you know what it tastes like? I grew up in a place called Woodbridge, New Jersey. Anyone's ever been through Woodbridge or driven through Woodbridge knows what Woodbridge, New Jersey is. Woodbridge, New Jersey is what it is. I get to imagine that this pizza tastes like when, it, it, when in middle school and high school they had like pizza day in the cafeteria. Well, there was what the Woodbridge pizza probably tasted like. And then there's what the private school kids from Princeton's pizza probably tasted like. This tastes like the fancy private school pizza day pizza that they would get not the stuff that i would get that's the only way i can figure out to really describe this that's the only i'm getting in my head it's like it tastes like lunchroom pizza just for rich people it, it, and obviously it didn't cost that much again i said it's a walmart for like seven bucks so maybe that's the big appeal it's like you can get rich kid pizza without being a rich kid it, it's just not that great it, it, I, I, it's almost like I, I have almost no opinion on it. It's like, would I buy it again? No. Will I eat the other slice? Yeah. Did it get better the more I chewed it? Yeah. But there was nothing about it 
They cook very well. It's funny, you see a lot of the reviews online where people cook this pizza and it's all orange and burnt and gross. I have no idea what they did. Maybe they sabotaged it. Cause you saw what my pizza looked like. It looked actually just like the pizza on the box. So from that, they get credit. They didn't create some false advertising. Again, I think there's a bunch of people who just know how to cook. And it's pretty simple. I mean, you put the damn thing in the oven at 450 for like 11 to 13 minutes. So it wasn't like it took, it wasn't like I had to become Chef Boyardee to do this. Obviously, we actually was a great American, just you know. No, it's just, it's not, it's just not that good. It, it, for two bucks more, three bucks more, whatever it is, I could go get a Domino's pizza with free extra cheese and free pepperoni that would taste 10,000 times better than that. What, what's interesting to me is I'd love to know the thought process they did putting this together. I understand it's a thinner crust style pizza. But the reason why I even got that, that massively awesome Detroit-style pizza company pizza was because it was reviewed by him. So I know that the guy who is the, 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 the patriarch of this company knows the capacity, the possibilities that frozen pizza can attain. And this comes very far from it. I understand it's thin crust versus thick crust, but this crust does not have the same buttery sweetness as the as the Detroit style pizza company pizza does. The cheese, while they cheese blend like the Detroit style pizza company, does not punch you in the mouth and get you excited. The sauce, unlike the Detroit pizza company pizza, which has a tanginess to it. This doesn't have this, it looks like it's trying to be tangy, but it just, it just, it falls short. I, I, it's one of these things where you wish you could like yell and scream, like you saw when I got all like emotional during the Domino's pizza because of the massive turnaround that they had achieved as a company. And the Detroit style pizza, how that made me go, God damn, God damn, God damn. I got a little excited about that. This pizza, it, it elicits no emotion. Um, it's, it's bizarrely mediocre. I guess I can see where people get upset again because Dave Portnoy is a, is a, he's a force of personality. So whenever time you have, look, I people hate me, right? Well, that's not hard to believe, but, but it's, some people may lash out against him. They're, they're, they think they call them haters, and there's haters out there. I don't hate this pizza. And my opinion of him is no more or less than it was before this. It's just not that good. I, I, maybe the problem is maybe what would upset me a little bit about this, if you want a little bit of emotion as Shang, from probably is the least emotional pizza. Even with the Lou Malnati's, it tasted 10 times better than this. But I at least able to get passionate and angry about the fact that it was false advertising. It wasn't a deep dish pizza. The Lou Malnati's is better than this, but the Lou Malnati's also cost about five times more than that. So, you, you know, you'd have a debate with it. Um, I think the issue is when this pizza came out and they were trying to promote it, and now I know why they did what they had to do to promote it, because they can't promote it based on the quality of the pizza. This is not going to get knock anyone's socks off. They had a bunch of people who were filming videos where they were adding in fake, fake crunch sound effects. Let me repeat that. They were adding in fake sound effects that made the pizza sound like it would be so crunchy it would break your teeth. And there was like this one video where you saw someone could, you literally could tell, you couldn't see it. You literally tell they could read it from a cue card about giving it a 10. You know, on a scale of 0 to 10, it was a 10. This pizza is not a 10. I don't even register stuff like that because I don't do numbers. This pizza is, what's the most mediocre number you could get? Like it's like a, I don't know. 3.17. It's like one point above pi. It doesn't even fit that. Right? It's like it can't even be – it's not even enough percentage of points to be pi. It's like the most mediocre number you possibly be, 3.17. That would be if I gave this a number. It was what I would give it. And I think that's what pissed some people off was here you have this guy who, who obviously knows what good pizza is. He obviously knows what it is. He obviously knows the capacity of different types of frozen pizzas. He's reviewed ones, one of which I had, I've already said, come on, is amazing. And then maybe some people got a little bit of a reaction to that. Because he had all these people going out there giving 10s. There's actually a video of a bunch of his employees. And I think it's done a little jokingly, but they're all saying, oh, it's 10. One guy says 10.1. One guy says like 8. You know, it's not, an, it's not even an 8. I think even the guy who was doing the 8 was probably sucking up a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it's a 3.17. It's, and again, I don't do numbers, but it's his. It's the last ever. I figure what's, what's the best way to end sloppy seconds? Then to end the fact that we're no longer following in the coattails of somebody else, that we're going to do our own thing, create our own identity, why not use his pizza? Yeah, it, it's it's mediocre. It, it's not awful. 
like some of these people who are carrying on like lunatics are. I can smell my own kind. I can carry on like a lunatic like anybody else. But it's not good. It's not bad. It's not good. It's like, you know, when I went to Trent State College, there was this guy who ran the Parkside Diner. It was this Greek guy. Go figure. He was this Greek guy. Really nice guy. We'd show up in the, we'd show up in the diner at like 2 a.m. And you know he didn't want to be there. He didn't want to be taking crumbled cash from a drunk 21-year-old at 2 o'clock in the morning. And I remember I used to say, I was like, hey, man, how you doing? And he'd always say the same thing. He'd say with this really heavy Greek accent. He'd always say, eh, not so good, not so bad. This is basically... The, 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 the guy who owns Parkside Diner in the 80, in the late, in the mid 90s. It's not so good. Uh, it's not even not so good, not so bad. It's like, eh, not so good, not so bad. That's what it is. So, in final review, the final sloppy seconds ever, I wouldn't buy this pizza again. If you want to try it to, to know, to kind of understand what the hell I'm talking about, how this is, again, 3.17. Uh, it's just. God, it's, it's bizarre. It's, I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, that's it. That's all it is. It just, I'm going to go eat the other half and see if it maybe can turn me around a little, but I don't think so. Even then, I would get up to a 3.18. It's not that good. So, I want to thank Dave Portnoy for everything he did. For help, you know, make these pizza reviews and save all these businesses. But you guys know the way I roll. No matter who the person is, no matter what they do, no matter what my loyalty or allegiance to them, no matter what I owe or I, Look, Gandhi could make a pizza. And if it's no good, I'd say, Gandhi, this pizza sucks. And if this pizza sucked, I would say it, but it doesn't suck. It's just... It's just not that good. Um, the Domino's is way too close at a price point and way too, much, too, way too good compared to this. Um, you could go buy a Domino's pizza and get some tin foil, aluminum foil, sorry. You could cut what you left out of the Domino's pizza up and freeze it and then just cook it and you'd have that. You'd probably get more pizza out of the Domino's pizza that way and save yourself some money, even though it says a lower initial price point. Yeah, sorry. That's it. So I guess it, I, it's, it's weird. I, even, my, even my review of this pizza is mediocre. I keep dragging this review on trying to come up with something cool and exciting to say, some emotion it can elicit out of me. And it's just... This Pope pizza is almost like a black hole of emotions. It, 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 it like takes my emotional response. It's almost, you know what? Next time I have an anxiety attack because the way my head works, I think I'm going to need a slice of this pizza because this pizza just completely removes any type of excitement out of me, bad or good. This is almost like, it's almost like the Prozac of pizzas. It, it just, it's, if you're honest about the way it tastes, it does nothing to. So that's it. That's the end of this review. Again, mediocre review for what is turns out to be a very mediocre pizza. We'll be back next week. What do I promise you? The first new pizza review. I'm doing DiGiorno. Now I'm telling you right now, that will not, I'm promising you that will not be mediocre. The reason why is DiGiorno went around and talked a lot of trash. DiGiorno is bragging about, oh, it's a delivery or DiGiorno. We're gonna find out. And DiGiorno. If it's if it, 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 it is all a bunch of false advertising, see look, this is how mediocre this pizza is. I'm talking about the pizza review from next week. I'm not even talking about this pizza review anymore because I'm done with it. So I'm gonna eat it. I'll freeze it if I'm in a like I said. I'll take the second half of it. I'll freeze it. I start having a panic attack or anxiety attack. I'll defrost this. I'll eat it. And I promise you, it'll just completely level me out. So that's it. Thank you everyone, and I will. Oh, by the way. The pizza review video is going out today, as well as the progression videos going out today. We have changed that we, I, me, the staff of one has changed the name of the page to push-ups and pizza. So you'll see that differently. And uh, we'll join you next week when we talk about whatever it is I'm going to talk about based on viewer mail for the fitness and review the DiGiorno frozen pizza. Thank you.